Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back for the last time to Bally Spring. We've got no spare capacity for butter, that's something that is just continuously going to pop up. Um, I probably could fix that actually. We've got lots to do, lots and lots and lots to do. Um, we're in the end of October. The silage is ready to sell. We've got pallets we need to shift. No, nope. take that into the house door. We've got to do all the sellings basically, get it all done. Um, uh, we've probably got grain still I think yeah we will uh, I've done most of the feeding up of the animals so they're pretty well off I think I do need to pop chickens need feed and um, the sheep and goats will need a bit of hay but the cows They've been stocked up. We we're gonna to have to lease some equipment now. Um, <clears throat> I make a plan, and then there's gonna to have to be a lot of jumps. Uh, we silage needs shifting and we've got a trailer full ready to go we will need to lease some vehicles i could probably do with a run to the pub to clear some space on the trailer so if we get onto that now Uh, yeah, that will leave for them for now. We'll um, quickly feed the sheep. A bit of a chance to say bye to a minute. There's a lot to get crammed in here. I think we will we'll, we'll get it done though. Uh, I do want we'll That's rather frustrating this butter thing isn't it let's get to the shop make some money uh, I've left that gate open on purpose what are the sheep oh they definitely need food right now as a matter of urgency they're refusing to grow coats of wool uh, yeah, I'll do. Uh, do we need that? Yeah, then we can walk down. Some. Um, It took eight from the last episode. It took ages to get this done. Get this ready. Have a quick look. Uh, 144 bales of silage. Is that? is quite a lot right that's them up and running um, put that under here for now 
So let's go and clear out. Let's go and sort out this capacity for butter issue. Go to the pub, drop off their delivery, because they'll want that first thing in the morning really before they get open. Just squeeze through here. I maybe should have brought the Deutz farm to do this. That's fine, so it's in here that the issue is. Drag that out. We just drag that out. That stops that. For now, gates open. Give the old Massey a run out. I'm going to do a little flyover of what it previously was to what it will look like nowadays. Morning, you alright? Lovely morning. Sun beating down. So what this is pulling this all right, I thought we'd be having a right old struggle. What we got here? Eggs, apples, honey, tomatoes. Cheese and butter, everything the local pub requires for its award winning fare. Oh, guess six thousand. Six thousand for me. Completely <laughs> well out. Massively out. Swig a tea while we're having that. probably got some more bits to pick up as well this is all going into the retirement fund though so 23,497 hell yes right now Got to go. We could do. We could do. Some grains. Now you know what. Up to the store. Let's get this silage. 
smashed out. Now we need a milk tanker because we've got loads of milk. Too much for us to put into our dairy so that'll get sold. Where to? No idea. through here for one last time. Lads off out on an early stag weekend. Can't bring them to there. So we need something that we could put milk in. Obviously we've still got these to look retro. Anybody in here we can actually have a chat to. Oh, yeah. I'm on the wrong side. There, there you go. Right. <laughs> Telehandler. Vintage. It's only the one. Pre 2000s. And I wish this had come up in a sale because I would have bought it. Just thought I'd check. Uh, definitely want a trailer hitch. Wheels not bothered about. I mean, we'll take wides because why not? Clean windows, dirty windows. No. Clean windows. No frame design, back weight. Ooh, I'm guessing the weight will help. Folding mechanism. Bales. Will these have been a thing pre 2000s? I don't think they will. trailer for milk is a Joskin ones they're they're a bit over the top but a Joskin one fourteen thousand litre as opposed to seven three we'll take it for the end because it just makes it a little bit quicker but these are the sort of tankers you would have seen back in the days I'm assuming that will take milk yes it will all right five and a half bag done I mean should we should we do the milk now I suppose we may as well, haven't we? We've got it on there. Get this bit done. I love this little... Absolutely love it. Probably do a bit of polishing on the graphics, but on the inside but it's such a good mod
the sheep's milk and goat sheep and goat milk has been moved over to the dairy so that we don't need to worry about uh, we'll leave that open for now that will closed up at the end rush to get all this done because we've got ourselves already booked Be. <laughs> heading off somewhere but where central europe north america asia hutan pantai i mean either way from this series being in the vintage timeline where we go it's going to take a long time to get there like 25 years to get there while that fills up let's go to market to see who what have we got actually we can stay I'm not too bothered about them to be fair that gives it 27,000 litres of milk gives a little bit of um, oh it's hops I think we've got haven't we Dairy. Oh yeah, the dairy. Well, oh, definitely sell to the dairy. Definitely. Much more realistic. Oh, we've got rain on the way, what a shame. It would be better to go out of cab. Just have a, a nice little sauntery look at the, the brilliance of this beautiful map. Now, at the time of recording this, We've just sort of being made aware that you'll be able to move the animals into pastures so during the summer months you can have them spring and summer out grazing on the fields but then in the winter you'll need to bring them back in as you would do in real life, which is a great idea, a great addition, and much more immersion. And obviously we're going to have baby animals. Now, that does provide, provide me with two questions. Beautiful, look at it. The first question is... Will will they be needed to be put into vehicles and transported? Because if you've got a hundred head of cattle, then your trader will only take four at a time. That's a long, long old job. And with regards to the animals and the babies, 
we've not heard about whether we're gonna have male or female animals, have we? I've not seen bulls or male goats, rams and the such like. Yeah, it's time. You're welcome to cross. sure that I'd collected that. Somewhere around here must be drop zone. Maybe I didn't. Wait, do you want this meowed? to ask the question it's round the front of course it is it's got a good job this has got all wheel steering There you go. Yeah, we're going to have male and female. I'm hoping they're going to go as in-depth as that. Mainly because... About another eight grand or something. Yeah? And mainly because you're going to be... If you're rearing animals, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to go heavy on the animal side of it at least for one series to see if you can just make money with the animals you know the males are the ones that are going to get sold earlier on because obviously the females can breed or if they're cows females will milk ain't getting no milk off the males so you know, you probably feed them up a bit and then get them moved on. And then just, will we be able to shepherd them about? We are getting hand tools per sin, in the sense that you've got to go and pick them up. I suppose they're not just going to appear out of your pocket. You can't just pull a chainsaw out of your pocket now, which is good. But, uh, Yeah, I'm hoping that if they are doing the animals over, I'm hoping it's going to be pretty in-depth. I, mean, I understand certain aspects is rated E. Certain aspects you can't put in there. Unfortunately. Can't know carcasses hanging. Right, I'll do another run, get the milk out, and then come back to you with the next bit of selling that's happening. Right, up to 118. Oh dear. That is a problem. for some reason
Oh, it's it's done the turn. Why did I not buy? Oh shit, mate. Oh, you've got the roses with you as well. Sorry, dear, I just saw um, sugar. I said. Um, I wish I'd have bought one of these. It was just a fair ninety grand. We only just got to the point where we've we've got money coming in. We shall just have to go. I mean, uh, I thought I'd shut that. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, I've just took some milk out of it. I literally took all of the milk. Just to get the extra shekels in. Shekels. What currency was the shekel? I wonder. Come on the mellow. <laughs> Not a problem for this, it's just blasting through it. Could have saved a few minutes actually by just not doing this segment as we are. Get that up as we are running time frame low. Right, plan of action, action plan. Bear in mind there's still another 130 odd bales on. Isn't absolutely nothing to suggest this won't take me into November to get the episode finished but I'm going to fill up the BGA as energy is a really useful thing to be producing even though we don't get the money for it it's good for the environment until they tell us otherwise and then the rest of it I've had a word around and not the best not the best price but realistically the Here, isn't it? Are you going, mate? Or what? The animal dealership is happy to take the rest of it because they can sell it on to farmers, they can distribute it. The garage isn't an accurate place to be selling it, I don't think. Um, there is this sell everything. It's just down the road to the animal dealer, and I just think that's a little bit more realistic. Time to break this out and give it a go, isn't it? Got a bit of weight on the back already. I did use this on um, Silver Run, 
We've had an update since then because we didn't have these weights. I'm sure of it. Should we risk it for three? I think we should. Not a problem. Not a problem. Although I do think I had a three point link on the back of the one on Silver Run. sort of want the weight on the front really don't we cliff-like hill at the back so you can see what's going on anyway I'll continue with this till this is full then I'm gonna have to start unloading down this should make it I think it should make it easy to Um, easy to load up in between but in all truthness it isn't because we're going to get s stacks coming in out of our storage is going to come stacked not on the sides but on the ends which is going to make it a little bit more tricky but not a problem clear taking off is easy as pie with this and I'm sure it'll be alright Oh, there's a flatbed to clear, isn't it? I could actually just use a flatbed. And just stack them straight on. Yeah, it's pretty far to drive, so. Anywho. I shall come back to you in about a hundred bales time. Which is about four or five trips. I imagine the answer is soon. Drop them up. Oh dear. If I drop them on the front, no. They'll go down as it's processing them. Don't really want mystery ones selling over time, do we? Yeah, it's full. So that, that these will go down as this just slowly ticks up the money. The second time I messed up that one. <laughs> oh dear. I've only just begun with this. I know I could have just got an auto load by the way. But there's no vintage ones. 
radio. Catch you in a bit. Right. We no. Please no. No. Hops. Now the hops. They're going to the pub. Ops. And there's a few more bits been produced from the there's a few more bits being produced from the uh, dairy of got quite a panic out over these so this has been quite time consuming as you would just I think you'd expect I did manage to get an old um, larger bail grub that would take quite a lot in one go so I've sort of been doing shuttle runs with that hence why it's nearly four o'clock now can I get these on? this is a risk isn't it? I should be able to certainly try if not these are all dropped because the bail grub wasn't wasn't brilliant it work but not do we think that it's possible I can already foresee the issue that's going to arise with this but I'm going to go with it anyway let's just Yeah, that's there's going to be an issue with that. If that doesn't work, then you know we'll um, we'll hold them back for feed. You know we've got a few still in here that I've kept hold of, but time's ticking. We're fighting against the daylight. And can I get two in one here? I can get that can I? Can't I? Now, 84 is what's actually strapped, so the ones on the top are just loose. 
and we've got trees hanging which is not going to work. Or tilting edges. I'm just checking my mirror. I haven't seen anything on yet. Better get the strobes on though. I've only just realised the strobe flashes on the dashboard. Beautiful. That way. I'm assuming we have dropped some, but I'm not seeing it yet. get in the middle there's less chance of hitting trees should we just um, I can't even yeah we've lost some but we've not lost many of the one two I mean that's a lot a bit more for the feed that's okay as long as we've lost them on our farm that's okay we can tidy that up steady mate steady we can tidy that up so we've sold <coughs> at minimum 150 150 bales which is why the money is just so fantastic I thought 100 and 120 grand to be retiring on. Ooh. Nice and steady here. Yeah. Lovely. Tell you what though, wait a minute, Ten. I don't think the maths worked out on that, oh well, <coughs> we got plenty of dough either way. Plenty bread. Now, I need your help to get those bales of wool on the trailer as somebody has agreed to buy them off us, but they can't take delivery yet, so we're dropping them off. Interestingly, at the pub for them so we can do that in one swoop with the hops and the rest of the butter and the cheese see what I've done there very clever sneaky but clever so which way it's going that next bit grab that trailer up to the sheep push jar collect um to go out the other way 
and round. Move this out of the way because I don't want to put the strain of two trailers, I'm going to daisy them together. There's one. That's, ah, I can come and pick them up, that's not a problem. That's knee bother. Ba da ba da ba ba. I've not seen any on the drive up, so I'm thinking we've dropped the other one somewhere around. Yep, there it is. That's fine. Oh, if you just grab the end of that. That's it. They're not too heavy, to be fair. Slide that one down. Same with that one. Your end on. Up to neaten it. Yes. Just watch it. Make sure you don't get stung by these bees. Beautiful, lovely stuff. Lovely. Good work. Oh, actually, get the other one. Every little helps. <clears throat> and then, I don't know which. Hopefully, one of these has got a link on it, and I feel like it's the farm tech. Oh, yeah! Yes, <coughs> a road train. It's freezing cold. Unsurprisingly, it's the one from the beginning of the episode when I started recording. So, this is the last drop, isn't it? I think it is, yes. We're not going to bother with the other bits because they're just too small fry. Go on the doits. I had a little strange idea actually while um, while I was delivering bales of silage. Going back to my previous comment about male and females of the animals, we've got spray paint for trees, which I'm, they're going to be in the base game again. Surely we should be able to use them on the sheep, because you spray the back of the sheep, dependent on what you're going to do with them. You could if you wished, you know, these are going to market, these ones aren't, this is this year's births, 
separating them out sort of thing surely we should be able to use that and just spray the backs of the sheep a little bit I think that's a fair option to call in don't you? males and females maybe on the sheep I've got no idea how much hops he's going to sell for but I'm confident oops <laughs> I had to do it didn't I last episode yeah, wait a minute for his pal thank you alright Go on, son. Get your foot down. That's good. We only need eight grand and we're at a quarter of a million. Do they not take hops? Are you all laugh are you having a laugh, and yeah? It's on the map. I just assumed they'd buy the hops offers. Well, I'll be damned. I've got to go back down the mark. Oh, we are struggling for time. What I'm going to do... Is do a quick... This is where we... No, I said it. Let's just go. If it's an hour, it's an hour. I do apologise, but for the sake of a couple of minutes, I am going to get to the mark, sell this, hopefully see eight grand off it. Then I'm going to do a quick visualisation or cut to a clip basically to show you what the map the areas look like when we first got here and then I'll come back to you and show you what the map looks like now so we can see the differences that we've made in the time while I'm here we'll give out some wonderful thank yous to all modders that make mods for the games you uh, you keep the game alive you keep us playing for so long big thank you obviously to Irish Connor Air Agri modding everybody working on that worked on this beautiful beautiful map Uh, which one did I say was the best sell? Oh yeah, don't know. That's the sell all. I'm surprised at that. I actually thought I might have crashed this, but just nearly took that woman out, but she should have looked before she crossed over. In with the hops. Waited a long time for this, haven't we? Oh yeah. I think we should just see about eight grand. Maybe not actually. Ooh, 
was this type? Ah, we're a little bit short. But we've still got all the produce in the shop to sell. So I won't be too despondent about that. Right, I'm just going to cut to showing you what it all looked like. I don't know why I'm giving hand gestures. What it all looked like before. When we first got to Valley Spring. Over at the, the other area. And then we'll come back to have a little, little look-see at what it looks like now. Oh, this is it. All field all the way down here, which is obviously dramatically changed into two harvestable fields. Little wind area up there. A beautiful, not massively changed really, but beautiful alfalfa field nowadays. And of course, the old ruins here. It's a beautiful little start of a small holding that got us all kicked off and running. And of course, these two tractors, which we still have running to this day. And then be, I'm quite interested to see the differences that we've made down on our farm really. Fields are obviously as they were. No real change there. I did consider putting a road in through there, but I've got a decent sized patch down here obviously is now our little farm shop and production area. with our sheds and implements sheep are in here with the shed the cow pasture is largely unchanged this is now gone all of this of course this was all trees and a derelict building which we have now got as our pig pasture and all of this area has been opened up as we've got our building in there and that's out the way as well so not a huge change but much better use of the space I feel and of course little duck pond in the front and so this is now a yard area with a greenhouse on it, newer gates, two harvestable fields here, wonderful lilac flowering field of, uh, field of alpha, alpha. <laughs> easy for me to say. That's all ready to be harvested again for the new managers. Oop. This has all been adjusted out. There it is. There it is. A little wind generator from the early days. We used to have a little pond up there, didn't we? And a greenhouse. Pond's still sort of there. It's dried up though now. And as we head down to the other one, as we prepare to say goodbye to beautiful Valley Spring. All these trees are gone to create a little pig pen with our little piggies. This meadow has been very productive for us. We've had this field producing for us, 
this field producing furrows, our clover field which is again ready to harvest. This huge field which I think we've done well to keep it as a large meadow but then also have this little production area, little roadside shop which I'm very happy with. There's enough produce there to get up to 250,000. Dairy's still running obviously. The sheds are in. The sheep pen with our sheep and goats. This has all been cleaned out apart from the bales that have been lobbed about. A self built shed that we built over time. That little shed there's gone. This has been an absolute godsend of a building for us. And then our little spot just here. I think we've made good use of this area and turned it all pretty well. We've brought the derelict farm back into full production. Quarter of a million in the bank. Ready for retirement age as we go into a new millennium. Who knows, maybe the map will come back. Maybe we can continue with a vintage theme once enough mods are out. But it's with heavy heart, but also a sense of achievement as I sit down in my chair. I say thank you so much for watching this if you've watched the whole series especially there's too many of you to to give shout outs to with the time that I've got left but if you have enjoyed it and the series please hit the like button if you've not subscribed yet feel free to hit the subscribe button for the new content as it comes out on 25 and until the next time Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye for now.